Chuck, Chuck. I'm confident that she she's there for me. There was one night in specific I like to talk about where I spent in the hospital. I was, I had a really bad fever and I couldn't cool down in the bed and Katie's always got ice cold hands. So I was trying to sleep and I was just laying there on the bed and she put her hand against my head and it was like the best feeling I'd had. You know, it's one of those things and she was there all the time, no matter how gross or not just sad or anything it was for her to be there, she was there no matter what and she didn't complain once. It definitely showed us that we can get through anything at this point. We can handle anything that's been thrown at us because we've dealt with something that most people won't have to go through, hopefully. And we're just stronger because of it. <laughs> I guess that I love her and I could never love her more than anyone or anything. <laughs> well, ladies and gents, we're gathered here today because Riley and Katie have said one to one another, honey, I love you so much that I've just got to get the government involved. <laughs> I am just finally so excited to be walking down the aisle. I mean, it's been six years in the making and I am just ready to be married to him. <laughs> so excited to be marrying you and you're my best friend and I want to do this life with anyone else. By the power vested in me by the state of Wisconsin, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, kiss her. Ladies and gents, it gives me immense pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Freddy. Love them. Great, great, great couple. Love Riley. Great guy. Katie seems awesome. Huge fan. Big fan of the couple. Yeah.